Hey, what's up everyone and welcome to another my restaurant video. So as I'm sure many of you saw yesterday during my stream, I went ahead and spent the last pretty much 24 hours working on testing every single layout that every single one of you have sent to me. So in today's video, we're going to be going over the one that gave me the absolute best results. Big thank you to Sidewinder for this layout, which I do want to go ahead and point out that I did this time test this with Royals as well as without Royals. So I will have a final total of what I got more than often from each one of the tests in both of those categories but before we go ahead and get into that we're going to do what we always do here in the channel and that is give everybody inside of my vip server a quick little shout out so over here on the right hand side we have infernal edge we have 07 m chip gaming by op advion lacuis i think i said that right i'm not even sure super soccer and then the completely out of place palm tree back there mr jackpot now if you can see here in the background i did go ahead and kind of change up a little bit on how i'm going to be doing this to make things a lot easier for you and me, I went ahead and pretty much made an outline of what exactly the layout is going to look like on the floor. So if you really, really wanted to, you guys could pause the video right here and just go ahead and follow that outline. Again, I want to specify that I'm going to be building this with a specific type of furniture, obviously being royal because it looks a lot nicer and I need to take a picture of it for my thumbnail. But this layout specifically works for both royal furniture as well as non-royal furniture. I personally went ahead and tested it with tiki tables and red booths i recommend that you keep the tiki tables but the chairs can be whatever you want it doesn't have to be any specific chair so if you went ahead and paused it i'm going to kind of give you a quick rundown on what each and every color means so that that way i don't have to walk you through it so obviously the red lines are the tables everything that is yellow is going to be a chair green ones are going to be your stoves the three blue ones that are right here those are going to be your dishwashers the orange and the white orange is going to be your tip jar and then the white one is just going to be an empty space nothing is going to go in there no filler item nothing just an empty pocket and then obviously the black one is going to be your order stand now the final color would be the pink ones over here which is a total of four these are going to be your filler items i personally use roses you can use any different plant that you want these four just need to be filled in and no you cannot use gumball the only reason i say that no you cannot use gumballs is because i personally didn't test it and i've come to learn that even making the slightest change to any of these layouts will absolutely destroy the income so i don't want to be the cause for you guys making less money so stay away from putting gumballs back here <laughs> so with that being said let's go ahead now and i'm going to build the entire thing for those of you that aren't deciding to go ahead and continue on on your own so we're going to go ahead and start off with tables first so like i said before put them all inside of the red boxes just like how i'm doing right here now i've gone ahead and completed the first top section but i'm going to kind of walk you guys through this so again i say this every single time in all of my videos but for some reason there still is confusion i i don't know at what moment you guys get lost and confused in this but the roses that i have around my restaurant if you do not have the bigger restaurant game pass then ignore the roses pretend that that is a wall do not add the roses into your build if you do not have the bigger game pass i know it's crazy that i have to say this but there's still gonna be that one comment that says i added the roses and it doesn't fit obviously now if you do have the bigger restaurant game pass make sure that you do include the roses or obviously whatever plant you want cactuses since they're a lot cheaper now starting from the corner of your restaurant go ahead and move one space to the right that's where the first table is going to go leave two gaps in between put another table then go ahead and leave one gap rotate your table and put it right in this location rotate your table again leave another gap right here then double gap and place the final table on the top row now using the table that you put on the top left hand side go ahead and use it as a reference point to move down down one block rotate your table horizontal and place three of them right next to each other once you've done that just drop down connect the corners with the three tables that you just put down and place another table and do the same exact thing on the other side to do a mirror image of what you just did on the left now again go to the top left hand side use this table as a reference leave two gaps in the middle and place your next table down here you're also going to do three the only difference is is that you are going to have to leave a gap in the middle for the kitchen after you place the three on the right hand side again use the top ones as a reference point leave two gaps and then place another three tables so far you should have something similar to what i have in the background right now now for the final time you want to do the same exact thing three tables across 
across leave the gap three tables across and this is what you should have so far once you put down every single one of the tables now before we put down all the chairs i personally like to go ahead and get everything done so let's go ahead and put our filler items back here pull out the appliance take out the stove the back stove is going to be facing forward this one is also going to be facing forward this one as well then go ahead and rotate it face it towards the order station that's going to be located right on the black block this one facing the same way as well as this one go ahead and grab your tip jar or whatever it is that you want to put there a gumball machine place that right there on the orange block go ahead and grab your order station place that down and of course don't forget your dishwashers these are going to be facing towards the stove on this side and then obviously over here it'll be facing the order station then the one that you place right over here is going to be facing towards the tip jar or the gumball machine whatever it is that you decide to put there now at this point you've gone ahead and placed down every single thing that you need the only other thing that you need to put down now is obviously your chairs i'm not going to walk you through that because it's pretty straightforward but once i have this all completely built we'll be right back and i'll open up the restaurant and show you guys it completely operating once you've gone ahead and done that you now have everything absolutely completed huge shout out to sidewinder for discovering this layout and for sharing it with me and sending it over my way the first initial run that i did with this with a full royal set like i have right now it gave me about 12.5 million that's obviously per hour and then i went ahead and tested this three times without any royals so just tiki tables and red booths and consistently it was giving me about 340,000 per hour now of course there was those times in between all of that testing where obviously i would get a celebrity or i would get two celebrities and that would obviously bump up the money by a lot sometimes 500,000 per hour so it really all depends on how lucky you are on getting celebrities and vips because those are going to help you out a lot with the income again i tested so many layouts not even just the ones that we did on stream before i started the stream i was testing out and even after i continued to still test out until literally four o'clock in the morning regardless though i am having a lot of fun doing this i don't know why i find it so enjoyable to be able to test out all of these different methods that everybody is putting so much time into and i mean honestly if you really think about it it's now gotten to the point where this is the competitive edge that we've added into the game and honestly at this point it really doesn't even matter about the leaderboards it's just a matter of who can come up with the best money making method and honestly i'm loving it dude it's really keeping me playing the game every single day and just seeing some of the ideas that you guys are sharing is crazy i do really wish that this whole one floor meta build thing that's going on right now would end i really want the other floors to start getting used and i feel like it's very possible that somebody could come up with a method that's actually viable that makes an insane amount of money but i don't know we'll see maybe if the ability to be able to move our teleporter finally gets added into the game that might actually bring in a lot of new methods which honestly i'm all for it as always if you guys enjoyed the video make sure to drop a like on it don't forget to subscribe to the channel for all types of different content and of course go ahead and join the discord in the description we are literally about to hit 3,000 thousand members inside of our discord yesterday we had so many of you join in there is a my restaurant channel on there where we have everybody constantly sharing a bunch of different methods as well as people that are testing methods i really do hope that you guys enjoyed the video and this does help you out that's going to go ahead and do it for today like always i will see you guys in the next one